up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So for today's video, um, I ordered this stuff like about like two weeks ago, but I was like, you know what? I really want to do like a full face of ColourPop because there are some things that I haven't tried and there are some things that like I haven't used in a few years. So I was like, I really just want to do a full video dedicated to ColourPop. So I placed an order on their website and I got a bunch of stuff. There's probably going to be like one or two things like in this video that isn't ColourPop that's just because they're like their mascaras their eyeliners I can't use because they really really irritate my eyes like really really bad so I didn't purchase any of those because of like my experiences in the past but I'm really excited because I do like a lot of their stuff and I haven't done a full face of like one brand I feel like in a while well, I just did a Charlotte Tilbury one but this is like a more affordable full face so I'm really really excited so if you guys are interested go ahead and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into the video I have nothing on my face nothing on my eyes I have nothing at all so I didn't purchase an eyeshadow palette because I do have some they are a little bit old but I figured I feel like a lot of ColourPop's um, eyeshadow palettes you can find a lot of the same colors and their formula is really consistent so I didn't feel like I needed to so I am just going to use my oldie but goodie the Dream Street Kathleen X ColourPop one this one is a great one and I love it. I don't think it's available anymore, so I do apologize. But like I said, I feel like you can get a lot of these colors in their other palettes and stuff like that. So I didn't think it was 100% necessary to purchase an eyeshadow palette. I'm not going to do anything like too, too crazy. I think I want to keep this look like kind of matte. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here. As you can see, it is well loved. It's just like a basic matte brown. And I'm just going to put this in my crease. I don't have any eyeshadow primer on, nothing. I don't usually use eyeshadow primer. I just feel like it kind of makes my eyes dry. So I either go in with just concealer or really nothing. So as you can see, this is pretty pigmented. I haven't used this palette in like over a year. And this palette is probably like three years old. And it still works like it's brand new. So love that. But yeah, I'm just going to work this kind of just all over my lid. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this like reddish brown shade right here on a more defined brush. And I'm just going to like put this on my lid and then I'm going to just blend it out. Like I said, I want to keep this look all matte because I really do appreciate an all matte eyeshadow look. I think it's beautiful. So I'm just going to... So that's it for the eyes. I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And I always use the ColourPop Brow Pencil. It is just so affordable and it's so freaking good it gives you really nice just natural brows i really don't do too too much i just kind of follow like the natural like shaping of my brow and that is really it. i don't like to put too too much product in because then i feel like they look fake and they're too defined and i really hate that look so i just really just keep it super just natural looking like I'll just fill in a little bit more like over here and then in the front of my brow and then that will like literally be all that I do for my brow. I did just go ahead and put on some winged liner and that was it. Like I said, I don't have the liners from them because they irritate my eyes so I cannot use them. So now I'm going to move on to foundation. Um, I love this foundation. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Foundation. This came out like last summer and I remember when it came out and I tried it for the first time, I was like, whoa, it was bomb and it was like the foundation I used all summer long so and I have used it here and there but I do have it in like a shade too dark so it does it's like not gonna match me like a hundred percent but that's fine because we wear masks these days so it doesn't really matter use a brush to just put the initial application to really push it into my skin I didn't use a primer because I had their pretty fresh primer and I didn't like it but I find with this foundation, you can just really just use your moisturizer and you will be okay. So that's what I did. I just used my moisturizer. I put it on before. So I'm just using that as a primer. With this foundation, you don't need a lot. Like a little does go a pretty long way. And it is a really good like full coverage, hydrating, long wearing foundation. I freaking love it. I did a wear test on it when I first got it. And I wore it for about like 12 hours, I think. And I was in the heat. Like it was like June or like July and it was hot, like so hot. And I was wearing a mask like all day. I remember I went to get my car service and I was in a hot like car garage and it was just a lot. And the foundation lasted all day long. It was 
really actually like mind blowing how good it looked. Now I'm just going to go in with concealer. So I do have the Pretty Fresh concealer as well. I have it in two shades. I have the shade Fair 10N and then Light 20 G4. So the Light 20 is a little bit too deep and then the Fair is too light. So I do mix the two together. So I am just going to put a little bit here. Concealer is a good like everyday concealer. I do wear it a lot to work because it is very lightweight and it gives pretty decent coverage. So... So this is how the concealer looks. As you can see, it looks really beautiful. It did cover really, really nicely. So this is a really good concealer. And I like how it paired with the foundation. I haven't used the two of them together. And I think that they look really good together. They like complement each other. All right, so I did pick up the Soul, um, what is this called? Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I'm really excited to try this because I love cream and like liquid contour so this is what the packaging looks like it's so beautiful a lot of people said it's a dupe for the chanel one i got mine in the shade medium probably should have got Ooh, it smells it smells like coconuts kind of oh my god that smells amazing all right so this is a shade that i got i did already swatch mine like a few days ago because i was really excited to try it so i'm gonna take my brush and i'm just going to swirl it in there and just lightly dab it. Okay, so that's not too bad, I guess. All right, so let's just blend this out. Oh my God, it smells amazing, you guys, wow. That shade isn't all that bad. It just gave some nice warmth. I don't think it's like contouring at all, which is totally fine. I think it's more of like the bronzing, but that's fine. This is how the bronzer looks. I think it looks beautiful and it was so easy to blend out. Honestly, my go-to cream, like not cream, I guess cream, yeah, not liquid, but cream bronzer is the Fenty one or the Chanel. And this blends it out a lot easier and a lot smoother than both of those. So that is interesting. I think it looks gorgeous. So this is brand new. This is the Cheek Dew Serum Blush. I got mine in the shade Beyond. This was the only shade they had in stock and it looked like it would be too dark but I mean it kind of still does like it's not like a pinky I would prefer more like a pinky bronzer but this is good for now so I'm gonna take it on my hand all right so that's what it looks like it's actually pretty like beautiful all right so I think I'm going to use a sponge for this so I'm gonna use the opposite end of my sponge necessarily like how that went on with the sponge so I went and I got my elf complexion duo blush uh, brush that I have it looks like this oh my sponge just fell no all right so I'm gonna take it on the brush and apply it oh yeah that looks way better this is how the blush looks honestly I think it might be a little too dark because it kind of like blended in with the bronzer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes and I picked up the Colourpop No Filter Loose Setting Powder. You guys, this powder used to be my favorite go-to powder like of life when it first came out. So I went ahead and I smoothed out all of the creases underneath my eyes. So I'm going to take the powder and I'm not going to bake, but I'm going to just press it underneath my eyes just to set everything in place. Now that the face is set, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. Yeah, that's their like highlighter. It's kind of like a putty highlighter. I've never used one of their, one of these highlighters, but I know that everybody like loves them. I got mine in the shade Systemic. Or, I don't even know what that says. All right, so it looks like this. Mine came a little damaged, as you can see. It's like a little cracked right there, but I'm gonna take my finger I love how these feel. That's so pretty. Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna just tap it, right? Like this, onto the high points of my cheeks. That's how one side looks. I think it looks pretty. It's kind of glittery. Honestly, it doesn't look like a really nice, like smooth highlighter. Yeah, it just kind of looks like it's like sitting on my face. I had and put on some mascara and whatnot. So I have three lip products. I purchased a lippy pencil, a luxe velvet liquid lipstick, and a luxe gloss. So I'm going to start with the lippy pencil. I got mine in the shade Ashton. 
and it's like I got a bunch of nudes because that's just who I am. So this is what the packaging looks like. Colourpop's packaging is always so cute, so I really appreciate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. It is incredible. It's so smooth and it goes on so nice. And this color, this reminds me of the Makeup Forever lip liner that I love, which is, what is it called? Endless Cacao. This is like the same thing. Is this a dupe? This might actually be a dupe. Now I'm going to go in with the Lux Liquid Lip in the shade Can You Even? I haven't even looked at this. Okay. So this is like a deeper shade. I haven't used their liquid lips in forever. So this is definitely more pinky. I'm going to go in with the gloss. I got mine in the shade Electric. So, yep. Just another pinky nude. So this is the final look. So I obviously love the foundation. I've been using it for months. I really love it. I think it's a great, affordable, full coverage, long wearing foundation. Um, the concealer, the shade is a little bit off. Like it's a little bit too bright for me, but I will take it. It's really, it's a really nice, like lightweight formula and it didn't crease at all. It's still looking really beautiful. Um, the bronzer, I really like. I think it's a beautiful formula and it's super smooth and creamy and it doesn't like skip on your skin because I have used some like cream bronzers like that that like will skip. This one didn't and for the price, I think it was like eight bucks. So for the price, it's totally, totally worth it. The setting powder, no disappointments there. My under eyes look nice and smooth and creaseless and listen, I used to love this powder back in the day so I'm so excited that I finally have a new one. The only thing, in my opinion, that was kind of a miss was this Cheek Do Serum Brush uh, Blush. I don't know how I feel. My cheeks are not like blush like at all. It was, I think it's because the shade was a little too dark, but dark, but also the formula really kind of threw me off. Like I wasn't really all that into it. It was kind of like weird. That was like a kind of a miss for me. So was the highlighter. It was just a little too glittery. Like I don't know if you can tell on camera. But it just looks like it's like sitting on my skin. It doesn't look like it's really just part of my skin. So if I had to pass on two things, it would definitely be the highlighter and the uh, serum blush. But the lip liner is beautiful. And I'm so happy I got this shade. I got the shade Ashton, in case you guys didn't know. Um, but yeah, it was a beautiful, cool toned gray, which I love. I know that's not for everybody, but that is definitely like my cup of tea. The liquid lipstick looks really beautiful over top and it's not drying. I remember back in the day when their liquid lipstick used to be super, super drying and just not comfortable. So I really like this new formula. And the gloss too looks beautiful. Just looks like a regular gloss. So I really, really appreciate that. And then of course the eyeshadow palette is good. I mean, ColourPop always kills it with their eyeshadow palettes. I don't feel like that's like a questionable thing but yeah so that is all i have for you guys in this video let me know if you like this type of video if you want me to do like more full face of like one brand type videos because i think it's fun to kind of like use a whole like a whole face of just like one brand and kind of see how it comes out so let me know if you want to see more of that and let me know if you guys like ColourPop. like do you love them do you think they're overhyped i love them because i think that the hype is real and i think the price point is incredible and you can find a lot of really good dupes especially when it comes to kylie cosmetics i feel like a lot of her stuff you can kind of dupe it with ColourPop. but that's just me but yeah so that's all i have for you guys in this video please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and i will hopefully catch you guys in my next video bye